Hello, N4H and H here with the Yaesu FT710. So let me show you something. Uh, you know, a lot of people were confused about the metering in the FTDX10. They felt like they weren't getting a full 100 watts out of that radio when they had the meter set for power output. So we tap here, PO, just tap the meter, change it to PO for power output. And so people were concerned they weren't getting a full 100 watts. Now, the answer is go to FM mode, key down. If you see it go to 100, you're getting 100 watts. Um, or if you could hold a steady enough whistle in sideband, you'd be able to see it. But it was not a peak reading meter, so you weren't going to be able to see your peaks on a sideband um, you know, transmission. So let's look at the FTDX10. I want to show you something. Well, first of all, let me transmit. I'm in, in, into a dummy load. N4, H, and H. Hello. Yeah, see, I mean, even with a whistle, I can't get it much above 50. So you're thinking, wow, this radio is not really putting out 100 watts, even though it is set at 100 watts. Tap the function button. Uh, we're going to go into, let's see, operation setting, transmit general. Press the function so we can get over here and scroll down. And all the way at the bottom, meter detector, average, peak. All right, let's back out of that and see what we get. N4 H and H. Hello. See there now we're seeing our 100 watts. Hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right. So that is an improvement in the FT710 for the metering. Uh, to be honest with you, it didn't bother me in the FTDX10 because I'm looking at an external uh, watt meter anyway. But, um, you know, it is nice if you can go around. If you got a compact setup, you don't want to carry around an extra watt meter. You're going to run barefoot anyway. Um, and even having the internal tuner, if you've got antennas that are close but not quite, the internal tuner can correct that. So it is nice to be able to have it all in the rig, especially for portable operation. But there you have it. Uh, the meter does have a peak reading mode in the FT710. Just a quick little tip video there. Hope you found the video helpful and informative. Uh, thank you to the Patreon support team who make it possible for me to bring you these videos. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I have no allegiance to any manufacturer. Uh, yes, you've maybe seen me very excited about the FTDX10 because that radio is that good. I'm hoping that the FT710 with some nips and tucks in the firmware here and there uh, will also come along and be a, a great radio. Right now it's got a few little idiosyncrasies that um, concern me, but I'm hoping uh, they'll be ironed out. So there you go. The FT710 does have a peak reading mode for the power output. And like I said, the Patreon team make these videos possible. They help offset the cost of me doing this, the production of the videos, and my time away from family and, and uh, other responsibilities. So I do much appreciate that. And if you like this type of content and you want to help ensure that I can continue to uh, deliver this type of content, join the Patreon team at www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And uh, you can help me uh, be sure that I can continue to do this. And there are perks for the executive and VIP level uh, Patreon uh, members. So, for example, the FTDX10, the FT891, the FT991A, the FTDX5000MP. I put together PDF uh, documents that, that you can download that go through all the menu changes I make, a discussion of the various controls, knobs, buttons, um, and just some of my own operating tips. And those are available for download. Of, of course, I also cover uh, transmit EQ settings, even the re receive EQ settings. Yes, this radio and the FTDX10 have a three-band receive equalizer, something a little bit unique on most radios. So, um, in fact, first time I've seen anything like that on a Yaesu uh, transceiver. So, uh, you know, I cover all of those type things in those PDFs, and they're available for executives and VIPs. Also have a document that is written to help set up the FTDX10 for FT8 operation. And I will probably be coming out with a similar document for the uh, FT710, though I believe it's pretty much going to set up identically to the FTDX10. Um, so if you have an FT710 already and you join the Patreon team, I'll bet you you can use the same document that I put together for setting up for FT8 with an FTDX10 and apply it to this FT710. And, and I also plan to produce uh, one of the documents. What I call it the menu optimizations documents, those PDFs 
uh, where I go through all the controls and the menu settings and transmit audio and receive audio and all those sorts of things. I plan to create one for the FT710 as well. So uh, if you are already a Patreon member, take advantage of those things. And of course, we have our internal polling, our own technical discussions, a lot, a lot of uh, good input there. And if you would, please give this video a like, smash that thumbs up. That helps us out with YouTube. Doesn't cost you anything. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, be sure to click that notification bell so you won't miss another video. I usually upload a couple a week, sometimes more if there's news to share. And uh, I would much appreciate that. And, uh, hey, finally, consider sharing this uh, video link on social media, text message, email, phone a friend. Hey, thanks for watching and 73 from N4 H&H.